Good morning, Ray Ray. Good morning, guys. This is not a nice sight that you want to see at the start of this video, but this is how our morning starts. I thought I'd bring you along today with my day because I feel like I've not really done like a full daily vlog of what life is like now as a first time mum to a four month old. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along it's actually mother's day this weekend so i need to pop to blue water and get some bits for my mum i'm gonna take this one with me yes we are you can look at mama or are you just looking at the pictures there's pictures guys above the bed and he's obsessed with them like literally obsessed with them every morning his favorite thing to do is sit on my legs and look at the picture frames it's like a little morning routine it's not got a plaster on my fingers because basically last night brandon scared the life out of me in the kitchen and i was sterilizing rome's bottles and i had the plastic tray in my hand it must have had a sharp bit on it and i threw it in the air and it literally sliced my thumb and oh my goodness it was so sore last night and it was bleeding so much so yeah i had to put a plaster on it but it was very painful but anyway he's just had well to be fair it's actually 10 o'clock now and i'm still in bed he was actually up at 8 a.m this morning he had his jabs done yesterday um so i put him to bed at nine o'clock and he slept through till half past three woke up for a feed which he hasn't normally been doing he normally sleeps straight through but he woke up for a feed and then i think he was feeling a little bit poorly in the night his cow pole probably ran out so he was a little bit upset so i just rocked him back to sleep gave him some cow pole and he went back to sleep till 8 a.m um so it was a good little stretch really um so yeah he woke up at 8 a.m had a bottle did a little bit of sensory um and then went back to sleep at 9 a.m and then just woke up now well just woke up at like 10 a.m and he's just had another bottle but he's not finished this there's about an ounce and a little bit left um he's still on four ounces i'm gonna um i mean he's four months old i feel like he should be drinking more milk but he's a bit of a snack drink like little and often obviously he's four months old like i think ideally like he should be drinking some more but obviously he is six weeks behind so he should only be really three months so anyway i'm gonna top his i'm gonna um up his bottles up to five ounces so i need to order some new bottles today because they only got up to four ounces but you normally do lots of smiles in the morning what are you doing <gasps> what are you doing Abby? oh it's one coming are you gonna do are you gonna do smiling yeah he's had two outfit changes this morning he literally was sick absolutely everywhere so that was straight after his first outfit change this is his second outfit change it actually it's fake tan all over it so that's lovely i don't know if he's teething guys but he started to use his oh my god there's fake tan there as well he started to use um his hands like he's started to chomp on his hands i don't know if he's just found them and he just likes to use he definitely uses it as a comfort and um, because he sucks on them when he's tired but i don't know i wonder if he's teething i'm gonna go and have a quick rinse in the shower i'm not gonna wash my hair ideally i mean we're actually going to brown's dad's tonight for dinner otherwise i would have washed my hair tonight i don't have time to wash my hair today so maybe i'll do it tonight when he goes to bed but yeah i'm gonna probably go and put him in his bouncer get a shower probably not even put makeup on literally just bare minimum today and then get him dressed and ready for the day he always looks perfect because i love him to look all fresh and clean and nice and have a nice outfit on so yeah i tend to put him in outfits during the day and sleep suits um for bed just so he knows the difference between day and night as well i think that's actually really helped our routine yeah anyway i'm gonna get up i'm gonna strip this bed because it's got baby sick all over it and go and jump in the shower so guys we actually have our friends lee and ellie coming to stay with us for a week to come and see ryan because he grows so quickly i have decided to treat them to a new emma mattress we actually have an emma mattress downstairs for our bed but we don't have one on the spare bed upstairs so i thought i would give our old mattress an upgrade because the emma mattresses are unbelievable i'm gonna unbox it with you guys in a minute but i thought i'd tell you guys a few things that i love about emma mattress before we get into the unboxing the mattresses are actually made to support the body adjust to your body temperature they're also made with really high quality materials and have a 10 year guarantee one thing i love about emma mattress is you actually get a 200 day trial so if you decide after those 200 days that you don't get along with it you can actually return it for free they also do free delivery you can also choose to pay for your emma mattress with divide by and that way you can spread your purchase over three to 12 monthly installments since we've had our emma mattress me and brandon have both slept so much better they are so super comfy they are firm but really supportive and comfortable so as you can see it comes packaged up really nicely in this box so we're going to get into the unboxing okay we're going to get into the unboxing in now it's packaged super tightly but as soon as you take it out of the packaging it expands ready bosh right we're gonna remove the pull it off 
We're going to see all the storage underneath. We're going to open the packaging and then you can watch the magic happen. And the good thing about this is as well, if you do want to return it, which you won't need to, um, but you don't have to worry about packaging it back up. You can just literally leave it by your door and they will come and collect it for free. But trust me, you're going to freaking love these things. Last bit. Last bit. Woo! There we go. Look how thick the mattress is. I mean, we already know how much because we love our <laughs> leather mattress so much, but Lee and Ellie, this is going to feel like luxury to them. I'm going to get them up in a minute to get the result. The best mattress ever it is so comfy. I hate mattresses that are really, really soft where you just sink into them. It needs to be this a little bit firm. It's firm, but it's still super soft and comfortable. Oh my lord. Comfy? Oh, I'm sleeping up here every night. Because <laughs> I'll have a bed to myself. As you can see, it's literally expanded already, but even after another few hours, it will expand to its full capacity. Do you approve of the new mattress? Another thing that's really cool is it actually comes with a QR code, which you can actually scan, and it tells you lots of information about the Emma Sleep mattress and also how to set it up. So from the 3rd of March to the 1st of April, Emma Sleep actually have 40% off on their website, and you can get a further 5% off discount with my code Erin Boyer. I'll leave it on the screen, and I'll also leave the link down below in the description. Now is the perfect time to get one if you're upgrading your room, moving house, anything like that. I cannot recommend them anymore. They are so comfortable and we honestly would not go back now. The code is actually available for UK, Ireland and US customers. So yeah, I'll leave all the information down below in the description. You will absolutely not be disappointed and grab it while you can. Woo. Also guys, we have a new Emma mattress duvet to put on i'm gonna pop some bed sheets on it in a minute and um, it's actually double layer so in the summer um you can take it off and just have the one layer if it's too hot we don't actually have this so this is gonna be our first to try but honestly it feels super thick and nice so i'm gonna get the bed all ready and then i'm gonna get lee and ellie's opinion right guys bed is all made right lee and ellie are here they're gonna test out their new mattress Whoa. new duvet, new duvet. Bigger, it's it? really high yeah. yeah i actually think this is bigger than that bed. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How nice is it? Yeah. They're not gonna go home now. I'm so excited for tonight. <laughs> that night. Oh my god. I think Absolutely. they approve, guys. Right, guys, don't hate me. I've had to put some dancing fruits on the telly for Rome. Hi, baby. Just while I jump in the shower, he's literally only here, guys. I can see him in the reflection of the mirror as well. So, yeah. Little bit of green time, but just while mommy gets in the shower, okay? I love you, chicken. I love you, chicken. Right, just popped a Sisters and Secrets Seekers tracksuit on. Rome is still occupied, so I'm going to quickly do something with my hair, shove it up because it's greasy, and pop a little bit of makeup on. Makeup. Don't ask me how, but my hair is so greasy, so I don't know what to do with it. Like it is so greasy, you could literally fry egg on it. But I've actually run out of hair extension shampoo, so I can't actually wash it till tomorrow because it's not coming till tomorrow. I don't actually know what to do, guys. It is so greasy. It is vile. I'm trying to tell it is. There we go. All slicked back. I'm gonna use some of the rehab hair perfume. This is actually safe for extensions because it only has castor oil and rosemary in it's actually it's like a it's a hair perfume but it um has all those things in it that refresh your hair and make it all nourished and nice so just pop some of that in and i am done before the baby is screaming which is always a bonus i'm gonna use a bit of cloud pink i actually love this one it's probably one of my new favorites that she does to me right guys it's rome's turn to get ready for the day i don't know if i've actually showed you guys his caterpillar um rather than putting it on his cot you can actually put it on his changing unit so like if he starts to roll or anything like that he's not gonna bump his head um but yeah we absolutely love ours i got ours in white and we absolutely love it but anyway outfit of the day we've got a little vest not sure where this is from actually I think this might be Primark. Yes, Primark. Little vest. That's a little bit small for him, actually. But the rest are on the heat area downstairs. Um, and then I'm going to put him in this. I think this is Asda. And I'm pretty sure Laura bought this for him. Yeah. Not sure if it might be a bit big for him. But we're going to try it on anyway. So, yeah, that's his little outfit of the day. So, we're going to get you dressed, aren't we? Aren't we? Honestly, guys, my favourite thing to do ever is get him dressed for the day. Also, he loves when it wants to work looking at this light he loves it look he loves it so much um so yeah we're gonna get him dressed there we go are you all dressed for the day are you all dressed for the day so guys he's got this little 
knitted romper on from Asda. You look very handsome. It's in size 0-3 and it actually fits in perfectly to be honest. I could roll the bottoms up a little bit if they get a bit long. Perfect little outfit. The sun's out today as well. So we're going to head to Blue Water fairly shortly. Um, just got to wait for Brandon to come back and see what he's doing. What are you trying? I think he's teething guys. He's trying to eat something. Do you want your teething toys? Okay. So I think he's going to want some milk in a minute and then probably go down for his next nap. So alright let's go and get some milk then. So guys. It's half 12, so he was up at half 10. Um, he's just had like a two hour wake window. Um, and now I've just put him down for his naps. If we're at home for most of the day, I've been trying to put him down for his naps so he gets into his routine, like likes his own bed. I mean, he pretty much likes his own bed anyway. But yeah, now he's down there, I'll just pop the monitor on just so I can watch him while I'm getting some stuff done. I'm gonna pack his bag for when we get ready to go out. And as soon as he wakes up, he'll just have um, a bottle and then we'll go straight away um and that way i can get a few bits done as well um put some washing on wash some bottles all that jazz so yeah i'm just gonna check that he's definitely settled got his white noise machine on um if you guys want me to do um a little video talking about everything like all his routine and stuff like that like how we get him to sleep um let me know and i will definitely talk about that on tiktok or instagram anything like that um if you guys want some tips definitely no expert and i know that he's got a sleep regression coming up and it could literally just go all out the window but i like to have a little bit of routine for him and it seems to be paying off so yeah i'm gonna get some stuff done tidy the house a little bit and then we're gonna go to build water Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in your car Let me see who you are Who you really are They, he just takes it better than the man bottles. I tried a man bottle and he just doesn't seem to take to it very well. Um, but I need to get some more because these only got to four ounces. So I've got three of those. I take a newbie with me. If I'm going to be, I don't know why I take three bottles and one newbie, I just do. But this is clean and sterilised. I'll take this with me. And then this flask I will fill up again when he is awake so i don't want to wake him up by boiling the kettle because it's on the middle floor um but it's just a thermos flask and then i just take out my pots of formula so i'm gonna really fill these really quickly so these um small pots of formula don't have the scraper so you have to use a clean knife which is really irritating but yeah i'm just gonna fill these up as i said he's on four ounces He's not going to have four feet while we're out, but you never know if he might want two. So I always just fill them up just in case. But like sometimes, I don't know, I might go from blue water like to my mum's house or something. I'm just counting now. Story of my life. They are all his formula pots made up. These are really good. These are from Amazon. Um, we've got a blue set and a pink set. And it actually comes with a funnel on the top so you can pour them into his bottles easily. His bag is packed, so spare clothes, nappies, wipes, sterilising tablets in case they go anywhere else and I need to sterilise something. 
and Muzzy, needs to pack up Muzzy and then yeah we're good to go really when he wakes up which I think is any minute now. Who's just got up from their nap? Guys you only had about 25-30 minute nap but we're gonna get in the car now so he'll probably sleep in the car, won't you? Packed all his bag up. Um, we used the Chloe changing bag that Holly kindly bought me. Um, so we've got newbie there, flask, powders, bottles, wipes, nappies, change clothes, muzzies. So yeah, ready to go. Gonna get him in his car seat and pop to Blue Water. Hopefully it's only a little quick trip, hey? Right guys, just got to Blue Water. Do you know what? I lost this lip balm in my car a few weeks ago and I've just found it under the seat. It is the best. It is the Laneige berry one but it's rather than in the pot it's like this and it is just the best so Rome's actually gone to sleep which I knew he would but I'm gonna quickly make up a bottle now because it lasts two hours um so he'll probably he's probably gonna want one in two hours so I'm gonna quickly make one up now before we get out of the car just for ease I don't know why I didn't make it before I left for this but I suppose if I make it now it's two o'clock so he's got until four o'clock to have this so this is why the flask comes in handy I filled this up with boiling water just before I came so it's obviously still the right temperature as you can see it's steaming I mean playing Canto because Cindy loves in Canto at the minute so I'm trying to get Rome into it because you know we're going to Florida next May which is going to be absolute carnage because we're going to have Indy who's going to be three and then we're going to have Rome who's going to be one so you can just imagine the carnage <laughs> um right newbie powder pots as you can see they're like this they are so easy to use and you can get four in one that's why i love them hopefully rome will stay asleep i've not got the rocket charged but to be honest if we're on the move the whole time also a lot of people are going to say why don't you use the hot shot method because then you won't need to sterilize when you're out and about but it's not actually recommended to do the hot shot method because it's actually not enough water to kill the bacteria if that makes sense so like if you're using one ounce to kill the one ounce of water to kill the bacteria it's not enough so that's just me i just like to be really on it with him i think especially because he was prem obviously like more so at the beginning but i don't know i just like to do it properly i'd rather do it properly and prevent him from getting poorly i'm sure the hot shot method is fine like i know many people do it but i just like to make sure so it's green now so i can't wait for to try him back on normal milk i hope i'm praying he doesn't actually have a cow's milk allergy and it was just like a little intolerance and his belly was just getting used to it um because i really just don't want him to have a cow's milk allergy because it will just make weaning and all of that just not not the best but yeah we'll see we shall see we're gonna try that um normal formula soon because he had his jabs and stuff then he was poorly so i didn't want anything to like affect it um so like next week when he's like all good we're gonna try him on normal formula and see how he gets on i'm gonna stick with aptil just because he's on aptil pepti one formula prescription so i feel like it would be best to stay with that to mill but anyway bottle's done I'm gonna pop this in the bag so it's ready to go two hours on that so he can have that until four o'clock god this is hilarious my sister is <laughs> my sister is staying at my mum's house while they're away in bath and my sister just sent a picture of my mum's air fryer saying clean your air fryer you filthy animals look at it oh my it is literally growing mold they must have literally forgot about it that is disgusting that is actually vile i'd have to throw that away right let's go get some mother's day bits and yeah let's go get the prime out guys I'm not gonna lie, I am the worst vlogger ever because I didn't vlog that whole entire time. Baby boy slept the whole time, didn't you? So I'm gonna give him this bottle now because that's what he wants. Hey, you got bubbles. Mm. So it is 3.40, so luckily he's got 20 minutes left on this bottle that I made earlier. So I'm just gonna give this to him now. 
before we go otherwise he's not going to be a happy bunny on the way home but successful trip i got some bits for my mum i got a card um for mum and a card for my stepmom and a card for jess which is brandon's mum i got a few bits for indy for holiday don't know i was just in the spending mood I wanted to spoil her so i did um i bought him what did i buy you bubba i bought him a little outfit in john lewis i'll show you everything when i get home because i really can't remember everything i got but he literally slept the whole time so i need to remember when i get home i need to charge my rocket because when i was eating lunch it had run out of charge and he kept like stirring if you don't know what the rocket is it basically attaches to the pram and it like shakes the pram to keep them asleep and to like settle them back to sleep but it kept running out of charge so i had to keep starting it again um but yeah we're just having some milk in the car before we go home mm, you're such a good boy he honestly sleeps in the pram for like two hour, hour and a half two hours and then at home he sleeps for about 20 minutes in his bed so can't complain though because he does sleep through so i think as well like i hate vlogging in public i really don't like it but also when i'm with rome and like i've got the pram and stuff like trying to push the pram trying to vlog it's a nightmare and brandon couldn't come with me so yeah apologies for not vlogging that but i will make sure to do a little haul as soon as i get home um yeah i was only well i was an hour and a half nearly two hours so yeah anyway we're gonna finish this bottle and then we're gonna get home and i'll update you all when we're back right i'm back Come now laura and ella are here Maybe. I wanted to show you what I got because I didn't film obviously in there. Right, so Indy's going on holiday in April, so I picked up this little. Oh, that's cute. It's romper for her. Is it a romper? Yeah, I'd say so. I think it's a romper, but it's got like a little ruffle at the top. So I got her that in purple. That's from M and S. And then I also got it in pink. Oh, I like that. So they what I think they had a really nice blue one, but Why they didn't have his size. Today? His size, her size. Why are you not looking at and then today? I got her these for her <laughs> holiday as well. I really I wanted to get hole. these sandals, but they didn't have them in her size. So I got her these. Oh my God. Blue one. You've got to have a pair so of jelly shy. shoes. Oh God. Thank you. You have to have jelly shoes. So I got her these for her holiday as well. How when cute are they? Go, they? I think they go in April. You didn't get any so yeah, picked them up in her size. They're like silver glittery. And they were only, um, I think they were like £23 or something like that. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we had no those way. when we was little. So I got oh, mum, I won't show you guys nice. in case she sees it, but I got her perfume. I bought, right, right. obviously, cards right, and right. stuff in Clinton's. And then in John Lewis, oh, I love John Lewis for the baby clothes, but Rome literally has all of it already. So, so guys, my battery died yeah. and the table's a bit wonky, so if that's why, then there you go. Got this little towel for her. It's got um, water, watermelon, pineapple and bananas on it. I just thought it was cute. And then look at the hat. The hat, the hooded bit, has got a little pineapple thing on it. I love it. I thought it was so cute. So that's actually... I got it, it's two to four, so that's probably gonna be huge on her, but I think a bigger towel is better than nothing. So, got that for her. And then for Rome, so he had this in newborn size, and I actually washed it with the dark by accident, and it went like a really horrible black color. So I picked it up in his size now, because it's literally one of my favorite things ever, look brand. He had it in newborn, do you remember? And I washed it wrong. I do remember that. It's got a little it rainbow. massive. He what is, is that? Look at free. The feet look what? wide. That's the size he did. Nice, and this was only ten pounds, so I thought that was really good. And I love the John Lewis stuff. <laughs> and then I got these for his holiday. I got these little rompers. It's got a little sheep on it, and they're stripy. And then this side, I don't really know what's on these ones. Animals. But I thought they'd be good for his holiday. I got them in. Um, I got them in three to six because they'll fit him in May. So and lovely stuff. And then the last outfit I got him because I get him dressed every day yeah. and he has so many clothes, but I just always Still think why. always think he needs more. I don't know why, but I got these little pom 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 pom. They got like little dots on them, leggings, and then it comes with the little polka dot jumper. This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And they've got little bows on the feet. Oh my god, I love it. So yeah, got that in ultra free because that's the size that he's in now. So yeah, and that is everything I got to be honest. So everyone, Romy is currently getting his nappy changed and new outfit on. And then we are heading round to my dad's house. Um what just beautiful. Just so cute. 
we're heading round to my dad's house for dinner tonight, just for a little takeaway. Um, got, dad's got some friends there as well, and one of them hasn't met Rome yet, so are you trying to get in the camera? <laughs> he was proper like nosing in. I feel like I need the biggest trim ever, and it's only been just over a week. Did you get it done no, I did a lower skin fade on the back, which I loved, but just feel like the top needs trimming. So yeah, we're gonna go around to my dad's, take Ernie, take Rome, get a nice kebab. This kebab we're about to go to and get a ke um, kebab. It's, really it's like a posh kebab, like it's really nice. We had to give him a little bit of cow pile, guys, because... A little bit whingy. Yeah, and I've noticed Could be he, milk. he keeps pulling his legs up. That's when you know, which is where the jabs were. So I think he's fine. He like was he's doing it yesterday when we brought him home, he was like scrunching his legs And up. he like kicks them, almost. Yeah. It's obviously bothering him slightly, but not horrendously. Like he's, he's been fine really, for the most part. So yeah, we just gave him a little top up just to and make sure he's out of pain. On... Oh, you're falling off, darling. I'm falling. Putting on his new outfit that I bought for him today. So I actually bought this for him in your newest today, which I'll show you guys in the haul. And it said £32 on the price tag. And when I got to the till, she was like, oh, that's a touch. It's coming up as £16. Half price. So, yeah, I reckon maybe one of the bottoms was £16 and the top, but it wasn't done properly on the till. Mm. So, because obviously, like, they always say, like, the till is what's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just haven't done the tag right. Oh, look at him. Nice outfit, baby boy. So, yeah, we're flashing red, so we're going to love and leave you. So, guys, we are back home now. Um, I've just put Rome to bed, he was a bit upset and he was shattered so I didn't bother picking the camera up, I literally just took him straight upstairs, put him in his pyjamas, um, gave him his bottle and he is fast asleep. What is the time? I think it's 10 o'clock, um, so now literally I'm going to wash all of his bottles, all of his newbies for tomorrow, for the new day. Literally, all I do is wash bottles all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get all that done. Brandon's going to quickly tidy the lounge. And yeah, that is basically my day. So yeah, I'm going to do all his bottles now. And then I'll probably update you guys just before I go to bed.